So it is not even the middle of November. We never have snow this early. This is crazy. One thing I'm glad about is I got, well, some of the beds ready for winter. I did not make it to the other beds, so that's definitely gonna have to be a project. Um, this will probably melt off. I don't think it's gonna stay. It is gonna get up, well, I don't know. It's gonna get up in the low 40s, so it might stay. Checking on everybody. I just we gave the uh, chickens new water. You can see them in there. Okay, let's just open the door. That's not much better either. There we go. I gave them what green I had left. Filled up both of their waters. Got this out. This will be plugged in soon. And uh, they're all nice and cozy. This will actually stay pretty warm because of the manure and all the wood chips in here. I didn't take it out yet. Because as this composts over the winter, it will actually produce warmth heat and that will help out so one thing we do have to do is get this covered we didn't actually cover it last year and they were fine uh, because this is on the south side so the wind doesn't come from this way but we usually cover it with a piece of like pink foam so uh, we do still have that so we may need to do that so we'll see the greenhouse is all nice and cozy I do actually need to shut some of these windows though. I don't think it matters. I don't really have like um, plants or anything in there that I'm keeping. So it's not a big deal. But this one here I gotta fix. This one won't stay uh, closed. This one I may leave. I think the cats actually get in here. So we'll see. I may leave that one for now. But uh, I don't know that I'm going to get the asparagus moved. Because if the soil doesn't warm up, and it's going to be in the 20s at night. So, um, yeah. I think I waited too late for that. I just I cannot believe we have snow. Definitely going to hold my tarps down now. And, um... It's still snowing. So much for getting the plastic on that. I don't think that's going to work out very well unless we get like a warm spot. My plan was to move this the other day. I was going to get the four-wheeler and pull it because it's kind of heavy and uh, the four-wheeler won't start because we got a choke problem and the tires are flat. So this is loaded down with manure. So um, I got to figure that out. These I think I'm going to shut before I go back inside uh, to cut down on the breeze through the barn and then I did just fill this up and these are all full. This green one can actually be plugged in and it will stay melted all winter. But I did just fill this up so I had to go all along the hose because it runs downhill this way and empty it out all the way back to the house. That's always fun. But they do have hay. We did get that. Miss Hattie, who does not look as white as what she normally does, loves this kind of weather. Don't feel sorry for her because she's out here in this really cold weather. She loves it because I've actually caught her laying down on her belly in the snow before. Yeah. She has a super, super thick coat. Yes. See, I am made for this kind of weather, aren't you? You love it, don't you? Okay. I'm going back in. I'm just going to show you our little, I don't know, snowstorm in November. Like we barely get snow in December anymore. Snow for Christmas would be great. I don't know about snow for Thanksgiving. It'd probably be gone by then. But um, yeah, I'm going back in. I got all my chores done. So I'm thinking something warm to drink would be fabulous. I don't usually drink coffee, but I'm thinking a cup of coffee with my hot chocolate milks sounds heavenly right now. And maybe a blanket and the couch. I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> Let me know what kind of weather you've got in the middle of November. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to be lovely lights today.